peace, peace, y'all. What's going on? Um, this should be the last one, but I am going to tell you this. Uh, please, when you watch these videos, to get a better understanding of what I'm doing. All right, I'm taking, I'm, I'm going, I'm doing research. I'm taking things, cross references. I'm reading from the, the dictionary. If I'm not finding, I'm going somewhere else. Understand that. You understand? If you're just the type of person you just you take off, you just read from one doctrine, and you go, well, everything has been solved. That's you. You could do that, but you know what? Yeah, you know I mean, I don't feel, I don't, I don't, I won't do it. Simple fact, because that's not going to tell me all the answers. If you stop putting Hebrew Israelites, Kemetic, Kush. And put these two together and find out what's going on. Because everybody's got their own story. Understand that. Yeah, everybody's got their mythical story. So let's get into it. Now we're into the... Now we're into the hidden history of the Nile. Basically dealing with um, the Holy Trinity. The religious... Evolution and the Holy Trinity. That's what we're going to get into right now. Because we need to find this information out and get it out. to Diodorus Siculus, who was one of the ancient Greek um, historians, Osiris was originally a community leader of very early Cush. He doesn't call him a king of Cush, but he makes it quite clear he was a leader. Osiris regarded as the founding father of Kim. He unified the two lands. He established the first nation state in the recorded history of humanity. He is said to have introduced writing, the writing which the ancient Kemites referred to as Medu Neter, or the, the writing of God, and it was written, or the words of God when it was spoken. He is also said to have introduced agriculture and theology. Also decided to take civilization to certain parts of the Nile Valley, as well as to other parts of the world. Saw a very beautiful Nubian woman by the name of Aset, who was his co regent, uh, not his inferior, his co regent. And when Asar decided that he was going to travel to other parts of Africa to share his technology with his brothers and sisters on the continent, he left his wife Aset to run their nation. And he was very successful, very admired, and this provoked the jealousy of his brother, mm. Set. And Set then plotted to overthrow his brother Asar. Set, or uh, Sete, in ancient Egyptian, murdered his brother, dismembered his body into 14 pieces, and then scattered those 14 pieces throughout Kemet. When Set learned of the murder and dismemberment of her husband, she fled for her life, and then she went searching for the missing parts of her husband's body. Set found 13 of the 14 parts of Asar's body. And as she found each body part, she cleaned it, she anointed it with oils, and she laid out 13 parts out, and she literally remembered her husband, wrapped his entire body in bandages, and created the first mummy in the recorded history of humanity. As the set was preparing to bury her husband, she grieved, 
because she was about to bury the man that she loved. She grieved because she was still a virgin. They had never consummated their marriage. And thus, she would never bear children by the man that she loved. Pay attention. Pay attention. According to the story written on many papyri and Kemet, carved on several temples in Kemet, the spirit of Asar came and impregnated his virgin wife, Aset. Sounds familiar? And then, nine months later, the virgin Aset gave birth to Sounds the familiar. Family. Now, in the case of Isis, Think or, about it. or Set, she is the original virgin mother, and she is seen suckling Horus. He is shown as uh, a child suckling his mother, and he's wearing the pharaonic headdress, making it clear that he was born a king. Haru uh, is the son of Osiris, and he is the embodiment of order. He has to take over the kingship, and he has to do that through a struggle. So Haru was born, the son of a virgin. He was born with a specific purpose in life. That was to restore his father's kingdom, to do battle with uh, his uncle Set, and reclaim his father's throne. Heru would then take up his father's um, struggle, in a way, against his uncle Seth. One of those classic battles, not so much between good and evil, it's more a battle between order and anarchy. And Heru eventually triumphs over Set. At that moment, Heru was transformed, miraculously transformed into a falcon. He flew into heaven to meet with his father, Sar, told his Sar of his victory over Seth. His father blessed him, and Heru then returned to Kemet as the legitimate heir to the throne. And when he ascended to the throne, the symbol of the Heru Vedette, the winged sun disk, uh, was a symbol that was carved above the entrance of every temple in Kemet to serve as a reminder of Heru for all the reasons for which he was born. And at the moment, Heru reclaimed his father's throne, and was crowned the king of Kemet, his father Asar was resurrected from the dead and took his place on the throne of judgment. Think about it. You see, this is before Jesus Christ. This is before Jesus Christ story. Mm hmm? Think about that. Brothers and sisters, gods and goddesses. Think about that. Hmm? This story sounds familiar. Like the Christians. You see? You got the Hebrew Israelite story. You got the Christian story. But here's the Egyptian story about the Nile River, about Asa, Aset, Haru. And all about a battle between brothers. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Huh? It's very interesting how we get this information, but you're not talking about the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but it's just interesting. A saw, a set, a root. Excuse me. <laughs> what I'm going to do is let you swim into that for a little bit. But I am now finishing up. This is what I'm going to do. I'm finishing up on. <laughs> Listen, this is Chakla Amanara. It has been a very interesting day. And like I said before, you're not going to know none if you don't do no research. Even a little bit. I mean, I, I've been doing this all morning long. And 
pull in the resources and information. It's, it's great. So I want to say this, y'all. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm just the messenger. Do your research. Oh, tap.